There's been a lot of attention on district attorneys lately and the prosecutor's role in the criminal justice system. But you might not know all the things the DA does, the limits on the DA's power, and the ways the DAs have already been changing their approach to prosecution in recent years. The DA's number one responsibility is keeping our community safe. We do that in three basic ways that we call the three Ps. Prosecute criminals who break the law, work to prevent crimes from happening in the first place, and protect and support victims of crime and make sure their voices are heard. When you think of the DA, you probably think prosecutors. While that's a big part of our job, the power we have to hold criminals accountable is carefully defined by the law and our ethical responsibilities. When someone's arrested, we carefully review the facts and the evidence. We can only file the criminal charges we believe we can prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Our job includes protecting the rights of the innocent, as well as those we charge with a crime. Then, the case moves through the justice system, which provides checks and balances and accountability. Public defenders, criminal defense attorneys, and judges all play a role in how the case will resolve. Prosecutors alone don't determine a person's punishment if they're convicted. That's up to a judge and jury once we've proved our case. Our goal is always fair and equal justice for everyone, but also justice that's smart and reflects the needs of our society and the will of the people. As prosecutors, we also have the ability to give people second chances. That's why we work with special courts that steer people away from jail, still hold them accountable, but get them the help they need to break the cycle and stay out of jail. Help like mental health treatment, finding a place to live, or kicking a drug or alcohol addiction. We also support restorative justice programs that help offenders understand the harm that they've caused to a particular victim or community. That's one way we prevent crime, but there are lots of others. We work with youth to help them make good choices and stay in school. We support programs that help people who are coming out of prison to find jobs. And we let the public know how to recognize and report crimes like child abuse, elder abuse, sexual assault, and human trafficking. The third big part of our job is protecting and supporting victims of crime. In a typical year, the DA's office comes into contact with thousands of victims, and we help them in lots of ways. We help get them emotional support for the trauma they suffer from having a child or loved one murdered, or the emotional pain from a violent crime like rape. We help victims even when we can't file charges against the person who hurt them. We sometimes even use therapy dogs to help them testify in court and tell their story. Our we do all of this on behalf of you, the people. And we're accountable to you and to the laws of the state of California. Those laws are always changing to keep criminal justice priorities in line with changes in society and technology. We embrace reform, but we'll always work to make sure change happens in a way that continues to keep our neighborhoods and you safe.